Austin is the 18-year-old doorman at the University of Iowa responsible for creating some of the top girl-to-guy ratioed frat parties in the history of modern American Greek life. After his story went viral this fall, he found himself ranked as the consensus number one prospect in every major nightclub future security poll in the country. Now, meet Mr. Gould. Mr. Gould is the head of security for legendary Miami nightclub Eleven. Eleven is one of the top nightclubs in the United States per square foot. Not only does it attract some of the biggest spenders in the world, it also hosts many of our most beloved celebrities on a nightly basis. As part of its future security outreach program, Eleven recently invited young Austin to Miami for a pat-down training seminar. Word of the meeting traveled quickly through the security community as there is now hope that the question at the forefront of everyone's minds would finally be answered. Is there really a difference between University of Iowa fraternity parties and Miami nightclubs? The truth is that it's easy to have fun when the party's just your Iowa frat bros, but partying on a professional level means having fun while surrounded by people you don't even know. Which, for Eleven, means providing its patrons with a feeling of total security by any means necessary. When do you know? When do you know? I'm gonna have to do a cavity search on this person. We've never once done a cavity search on anybody here. Eleven goes to great lengths to ensure a 100% safe environment, including a strict pat-down policy that mandates all entering parties be manually patted down. A policy that was new to our young superstar doorman. What advice would you give a first time patter? Relax. You have to remember that it's your job to ensure the safety of the venue and everybody else who's inside of it, but you also have to make sure that you're not going to offend anybody by going hands on with them. A hands on approach presents its own set of obstacles. Do you wash your hands after every time you pass someone down? Every time, no. It's kind of gross, don't you think? I think that's what Purell was invented for. Austin beat around the bush for a while before finally addressing the elephant in the room. Do you have to pat down like everything, like everything during the process? We make sure that we get as close and personal as we need to to ensure the safety of all of our guests. A sentiment that implied Austin confronting a deep-seated fear. What are you most nervous about? I'm most nervous about the unknown because, you know, I'm just a small town Iowa kid. You mean the crotch area? The crotch area is a unique area no matter where you're from. There's crotches in Iowa City, but there's just a lot more crotches here, I guess. Remember, it's, it's, it's like you're a medical professional. It's, 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 it's not gross if security's involved. It's for the greater good. Like Superman isn't worried about touching someone's balls if he's saving like the city. It's like you wrestling. It, it's yeah, a sport. Exactly. And, they're, and it's just a bunch of like half-naked dudes on top of each other, and like no one questions that. But before Austin would ever touch a paying customer, he needed to learn the most essential lesson of all. Well, it's, it's, it's the, it, the rub versus the pat, right? So sir, how are you, sir? My name's Adam. The rub versus the pat is one of the most debated topics across the entire landscape of the security industry. What is the difference between a pat and a rub? Pat down, rub down, what's the difference? Um, well, I don't know. I think that uh, a pat down is something that, you know, you're, it's the flow of your hands. A lack of comprehension in this topic can lead to security breaches of the worst variety. Try it. Whew. All right. How's it going, sir? Is it right if I do a quick baton on you? Mm-hmm. All right. Can I have you turn around for me, please? Appreciate it. You having a good night so far? Mm-hmm. Solid. Happy to hear that. You here with anyone else? Mm-mm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Appreciate you for coming out tonight. Just gonna check everything around here. Everything's looking good, so you can turn around. Welcome home. Thank you for coming out tonight. God. If it's that far in, how would I feel it? You didn't. You didn't. Pat, you didn't even check the belt area. That's an area I'm a little uncomfortable about, though. So I feel like I do have a weak spot there. A weak spot, indeed. There is so much to learn. There is so much to learn. There really is. It's an art. Expect the unexpected. 
And with that, it was time to hit the street with real nightclub clientele. What is the perfect pat down experience? He just touches me like right in the armpit, and then he goes, sir, you're in. And then I just walk in. Tell me about what would be a bad pat down experience. He touches me in the armpit, and he goes, you're under arrest. Just moments before his professional pat down career began, Austin was frantically taking notes. So it's not like hitting, it's wrong. Yeah. And then, and then like, outside. The you don't want to touch the back Yeah, of your hand. back of your hand. I've got so much to learn from you guys. So much to learn. And we were off. How's it going, sir? Good, good. 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 Have you been patted down yet? Have you been patted down yet? Some argue that doing lines in Miami is old hat. But for this nightclub security prospect, the amount of people waiting to be patted down was wearing thin on his nerves. I would just say I feel a lot of pressure. You know, there's a lot of great people with families, and their safety's in my hands tonight, literally. Yeah. And if I'm not touching dude's junk to make sure that there's not a knife next to it, then, you know, they could be in danger. And then that falls on me. But Austin wasn't the only one affected by Eleven's strict pat-down policy. When it comes to intimate searching, it takes two to tango. What kind of dialogue do you like to keep with someone who's patting you down? Oh, keep it casual. Like what? It's like, what's going on, man? Talk about sports? No. No. It's like, how's, how's your day going? In the hospitality business, the first priority is always pleasing the customer. When you get patted down, how do you want to feel? Gross. Gross. And why? It's fun. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. What's so cool about it? Someone just grabs your day. Yeah. And it's like... The hardest spot to be in as a nightclub doorman is when following procedure and pleasing the customer are at ends with one another. Although dick grabbing may be okay at a local frat party, working professional security means a level of conduct beyond reproach. Austin truly was between a rock and a hard place. You having a good night so far? Absolutely. Sir. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just gonna pat you down. Keep your arms straight out. Straight Do you have out. to pat down like everything, like everything? everything. I hope they go. Make sure everything's good for you. That's an area I'm a little uncomfortable about, though. So I feel like I do have a weak spot there. Weak spot. So grabs your dad. What advice would you give a first time patter? Relax. Austin had a choice to make, and the world was watching. He could either please the customer through an unprofessional pat, or he could stick to procedure at the risk of an unsatisfied patron. Ultimately, the cost of security for the whole is the vulnerability of the individual. Both a patter and a patty must put themselves out there in order to make the security process run smooth. It's a two-way street that enables everyone to travel safely, even in opposite directions. You see the difference between the pat and the rub? Yeah, it's the rub. The rub is the way you feel everything. 